Another way that we can add leads is by importing leads. So let's go up here to the tools. We're going to go into data administration, import. And we can import from different sources, but right now we're just going to do other CRM, which really is just going to be um, any kind of Excel spreadsheet that you have. You just convert that to a CSV. And so we're going to browse files. And we have on the desktop, we have a folder that says, this is another thing that we did for our, uh, another lesson, which was importing from Salesforce. So we're just going to grab the lead CSV that we have. File's been uploaded. We're just going to go with that one. I'm not going to worry about a notify email. Next, this is going to automatically map. Uh, actually, it looks like it didn't. So let's see. Where we have leads. Let's map that to leads. So all I did is I drag the unmapped files to the leads file, to that lead square that we had there, save. So it has one file. We're going to click next. So you can see pretty easy. And what it's going to do is this is uh, for the other matching that we had to do for the Salesforce one. So if you want to look at that lesson, go for it. Uh, so we really don't need that field, but we're going to leave it in there. First name, last name, you can see it automatically match that. We have title, company, it's matching, automatically matching all these fields. So we're good here. Uh, postal code is the only one that looks like it didn't. So let's look at zip code. Okay, we'll add that. Phone number, mobile, email, Website, lead source, lead status, industry, annual revenue. And then uh, these down here, we're just going to not worry about those. So the main ones, we're going to just do that. And we're going to save and next. We have leads, 25 map fields, 40 unmapped fields. We're not going to worry about those. The other video talks about how you can add the custom fields and all that stuff. But right now, we're just going to keep it very simple. So we're going to do the migration. Data migration is in progress. We'll send you an email notification once it's complete. So, so far added 648, skipped none. It's still in progress. If you look down here, you have an option. You can edit the mapping and redo it. So if I click on this, you can see who was added. Okay, that's one way to do it. Another is back over here to the tools come down to import, import history, and you can see migrated from others. All right, so and you can undo it, so which is really convenient. So if you have some errors, let's say there's some added and some updated and some are skipped, you go, oh shoot, okay, that's right, I needed to update something, is that you could actually just completely undo the import. All right, pretty nice. Uh, better than a lot of other products that I've worked with. So very simple, and if I go to leads, and that's Susan's lead, so let's, uh, you know, don't freak out. Oh, we don't have any leads. Remember the web form ones? We have that, and then now we have all leads. So here's 665. Lead status is new. Here's the information that we have just imported. Super easy. Look at that. Within three minutes, we had that done. And again, you can undo it. So I'm going to come back over here. You can see all those records in there. I'm going to import, import history, and I'm just going to go ahead and undo import. It's undo is in progress right now. I'd like to say within less than five minutes, we had 600 entries uh, added and deleted from the CRM. So it still looks like it's working on it. Let's see, I'll come over here and come back over here and see if it's still working, yep. So leads, right now we still have 665. Let's look at the import again. Now it's still working on it. So what will happen, obviously this will complete. I mean, if you want to stay on the line, I'm going to keep it on the line here. You can fast forward through this. Let's just see how long this is taking. So I think I started this a little after the four minute mark. We're almost approaching the five minute mark, so about a minute. Still undoing it. There we go. So the data migration from others has been undone successfully.
So if I refresh this, no recent imports shows there. And if I go back into leads, the count is 17. So it took all those other ones back out. That's it. That's how simple that is to import leads into the system.